Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Hopefully another little bargain. I'm setting off from the yard about an hour earlier than normal, so 8am, just jumped in the truck, got that started, and we are ready to set off if this is all okay. So this van has come through somebody, you can see in the thumbnail, Mercedes Saitan. So exactly the same van as the little Renault Kango that we previously had. Now the van does have some issues, but it does run and drive. So we should be able to load it up quite easily. It's down in, I did look in the map, but it's down the M4 near Heathrow. It's been a while since I've been that far out in the truck, but I'm gonna set off now, head straight down there, as long as it checks out, and hopefully buy another little peach. We're gonna try and get this one turned around as quick as we can as well, because there's a shortage of vans, and I know there's gonna be someone watching who's desperate to buy that van. So let's do a quick check on it. As long as it all checks out all right, we're gonna head off and purchase it. I've punched the reg into car vertical, guys, and it's come up, Mercedes-Benz Saitan. The guy told me he's had this van from new, mileage okay, theft okay, accidents okay, never been a taxi. You see it's all highlighted green, so we're all good there. Yeah, I was saying, he bought this van new, but there's some interesting stuff down here I'm gonna show you. Was registered in the United Kingdom, the 12th, 2015. Ownership change, 0518. Failed inspection, so an MOT there was inspected United Kingdom. Then again, ownership change, 9th, 2019. Ownership change there, 1st, 2020 was inspected United Kingdom third. So we've got three ownership changes there. And the chap's told me that he's uh, owned the van from new, but if we go ahead with a purchase, he's gonna explain. So 62,370 miles on the last MOT. He said it's around 70. And then it does say, as of today, the estimated mileage of this vehicle should be around 72,600. So this one all checks out absolutely fine. There's nothing untoward there whatsoever. This check was performed in all of these countries. So United Kingdom, US, Poland, France, Canada, Germany, just to name a few. Guys, that does all check out. But just before we do move on, I'm going to show you a very interesting one that doesn't look so good. And it will give you kind of an explanation of what to look out for when doing your check. So guys, here's one that recently come through from Car Vertical. It's a bit of an example, really, when we was buying a WRX. And it says there, mileage okay, theft okay, accidents highlighted there in amber. I did have a quick look at this check, and it does give you quite a lot of information. So was manufactured in Japan and then registered in the United Kingdom. But when you scroll a bit further down on this particular check, you've got all the mileage history there, like you normally would get. And it's actually got an engineer's report there with an estimated repair cost of 10 to 15,000 pounds. And it does specify everything that that vehicle's gonna need to repair it. And as you can see by the picture, there's quite a lot of stuff highlighted in red. And when we scroll a little bit further down, it actually gives you the date there where it was written off. So eight for the first, 2020. And then a little bit further down, We've got this vehicle was previously listed for sale at £5,500. And the very interesting bit is there's the photos of it when it was available for sale. So I want to thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. Guys, for this must-do check, use the link in the description or SR10 from any browser for 10% off your check. Right, let's head to Heathrow and try to buy this van. So a serious bit of traffic there, guys. I ended up sitting in it for about an hour and 10 minutes, but it is what it is, and we have arrived now, and arrived bang on time. The sat nav actually went to half past one, but I've arrived here at 11.30. So this is the van, the chaps here, he's arrived as well about the same sort of time. He was completely transparent on the phone. He said it's got a few marks around it, it has been used for work, so just off the back, guys, I can see like the mirror has been cable tied on. There's a little bit of a split in the wing down there, and uh, obviously the door's been opened on the same now. I'm not going to get into it too much, we're just going to head back to the yard with it, I think, and then we'll have a proper look then. 
yeah, it's quite scratched up, but they always clean up all right. Mercedes Saitan 109 CDI. But guys, this is a Renault Kango, isn't it? In fact, it looks the same as that Renault Kango. Only 72,000 miles on it as well. So I'm gonna unload my ramps and get it on the back. Just pulled up at the yard, guys. Got really lucky. No traffic on the way back. A couple of 50 mile an hour bits, but I think um, for those of you that follow us on Instagram, if you haven't already, Selfie Dream Builds, I did a little, um, I actually went live for a little while because I was sitting in traffic for an hour and 20 minutes. Leave that, Chris, because I'll wind that up and put it under it. Just got back to the yard, checking with Chris what he thinks of it. Mate, honestly, don't worry about that. Leave it, I'll do it after. You can see he's unloading it already. So, I didn't elaborate at all on what was actually wrong with the van. He said it's got a gearbox fault. They was using it every day. They actually go out and put up four cell signs, Chris, at houses yeah. and two let, yeah. etc., yeah. all over London and the, wherever that, that area was. And he said, so it ain't had no real hard use, but no. I'll be honest, I've been around, it's, the wheels are quite curbed yeah, up. It's, it's bounced up a few curbs and yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a few little splits and bits in it. But what should we do? Get it unloaded. The thing is, he said to me, it doesn't drive. I drove it onto the truck, so should we have a little go? Like no noise noises? at all, but I was only doing sort of five mile an hour. Well, we get it unloaded and just drive it up to the gate and back. Let's do it. Guys, I'm going to film this live and I'm going to plug this in, this microphone. But I'm not really going to speak anywhere near it. It's just to stop the wind noise because it's not very good, this microphone. We've tried it before. Let's do it. I'm going to speak just so that you can hear how bad it is, guys, and that'll explain why I don't use it all the time. Yeah, I drove it on. Chris, I plugged this mic in. Really, more as a bit of a... to show that it's not very good, but I hung it down low. No mic turn, plug it. Is that it? That's what CB's doing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Go hard lock. Really? Oh, that don't sound good when he just slowed down, guys. When he drove off, then I thought that's fine. I mean, ain't wrong with that. I've got to stop saying that. Nothing wrong with that. It feels like a drive shaft hanging out, doesn't it? When you drive down, when you drive back up, slow right down here so I can hear that donk, 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 because you was out it's, there by it then. It sounds like a drive shaft. Is it? No tools left in this vehicle overnight. That'll be the cup in the gearbox. I've been to a mechanic that's been looking after it a long time and he said that he thinks the pick in the gearbox has gone. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Take it for a drive or not? Probably not. Oh, no, it's just like a snack. Should we 
to get it up on the jack though, have I? Don't want to start with a leak, don't you? Really, don't you? Just is not convinced. No, not that he's not convinced. Just wants to give you want your own opinion of it, don't you? That's yeah. basically what you said. So he's, we have did roll it up my ramps and check the drive shafts, but we have put it on a jack and he's actually gonna run it and we're gonna test this side and then we'll probably move over and test the other side, Chris, right? That does sound in the gearbox. Gearbox. Yeah. Do you know what, mate? Sorry. Jump in there and run that. That's exactly Yeah, that on camera? Yeah. I don't think they can, but if you knock it out of gear, you should hear it. Or just let it slow down on its own like you did out there. Yeah. I'm going to come a bit closer, guys. I'm really hoping that you can hear it. That's assuming it is this side, because only this wheel will turn. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, it, it, we might... We'll try both sides we anyway. Sorry about the bit of sniffing there guys, it is, as you can tell, raining outside and it's quite cold and it was lovely yesterday, it was like a summer's day. <laughs> Go a little bit faster. Tell you what to do, build the speed right up and then knock it out of gear. Let it build right up far. You don't want to. Because it's jacked up. I can see one thing. The wheel is buckled. Yeah, really buckled. But can you hear it more in here? Watch the van as I rev it, the whole van. Yeah, it's trying to move. It's That's trying gearbox. To move. Yeah, stiff, yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So guys, ultimately when that wheel's on the floor only this one should spin and when this one's on the floor and you jacked up that side only that side should spin that shouldn't be trying to pull him off the jack like that yeah. chris i think that gearbox has been a gearbox too long i think it's toast mate. Yeah. <laughs> look at that wheel hang on mate keep going oh, i wanted to show how bad that wheel was it's going like that guys look at that wheel yeah, that do ya. So yes, knackered gearbox. Looks quite tight in there, guys, as well, doesn't it? Oh, we we do like a little bit of a challenge. It ain't that. Do you reckon that's good enough? Do you reckon that gearbox would be good enough? They drove it to the garage. I want to see what we're up against. Look at the state of it. Fucking sponge then, mate. No, I'm not going to bop. I'm saying, do you reckon it'd be all right driving to the car wash? Uh, Shall I? Well, you've got to walk back if it breaks down, haven't you? Yeah, but look, truck. it'd be nice to know what we're up against, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm going to whip it down and have I'll it clean. Just clean. go steady then. Oh, we'll go steady. I always go steady. Right. So, guys, Chris did just actually say, Rob, it ain't a bad idea. If you just nurse it down there, get it cleaned. We don't want to work on it when it's this filthy, dirty anyway. But he said you can kind of two birds, one stone. I'm only going to go in the unit now and research and find a gearbox for it. Guys, I can whip down to the car wash, get this all cleaned out. And while they're doing it, I can sit there and research for a gearbox. Because I want to get a gearbox, get the mirrors, get the wheel sorted and get this one out the door for one of you guys. I know that there is still that major shortage and I think this is going to be a nice affordable little van for one of you so let's do it wish me luck Guys, I'm so glad I bought this down here to have it done. It looks like a completely different van. And what you will see is, I've got them to actually blow off under the bonnet. Thank you. 
somebody's earphones there. A little screwdriver, thank you. I got them to blow, they can go in the bin. Um, I got them to blow off under the bonnet, all round under the wheel arches and all underneath the front bumper there because we're gonna be crawling around once it's up on the ramp. But now I'm making a nice job of it. I've said don't put any shine or bumper gel on the bumpers because ultimately we don't want to get covered in it when we're working on it. But it has come up really nice. They've blown out all in the back. I'll show you all when we get back to the yard. But it was quite noisy on the way here. That was a lot of knocking. Donk, donk, donk. I was looking out the window wondering if anybody else could hear it. It was quite loud. Anyway, let's head back to the yard. Guys, it actually cleaned up really, really nice. I wasn't expecting it to look that good. Even all this, I'm not even gonna say the word because that, that people pick me up on it. But all of it come up really nice. And all of them black marks actually look like scratches and not. There is still some little bits on it, but I think that's just where I've driven it back. They've done all the shuts for me. They've washed all our inside here. inside the cab it's a work van and it, it's still come up quite nice it always benefits to put a set of seat covers on but some people prefer not to so you do get the seats all marked up look how nice it come up in there can't show a great deal and this bit it's not something we normally do actually but guys look how nice that looks now and it's a lot nicer when we're undoing everything you can see everything and it's not all covered in grime so done all inside there as well I'm really, really happy with it. And I've also got some really, really good news. Let's go in the workshop and I'll tell you. I'll also elaborate a bit on all the uh, owners on the logbooks. So guys, I've just took Chris outside and showed him it and he agreed. Looks completely different. It was very, very noisy and I certainly couldn't have gone any further than what I just did in it. It just aged, you know. It aids us. When we're taking it apart, it makes things so much more easier to see. It's nice when you take things out and they ain't covered in muck. It really wasn't dirty anyway. It just wanted the dust blow blown off of it. So that's all done now anyway. The good news is why I was sitting there, I managed to edit this video because we had a completely different video for you for today. But Chris said, you know what, Rob? If you've done it, you know, let's put it out there. It's a new project. So I actually started this video first thing this morning and I've managed to get to now and complete the video. The other good news is I rung around local and could not find a gearbox for that van. They must be quite notorious, the Renault Kangos, um, Mercedes Saitan gearbox. But I did make a call to Silver Lake guys and they have actually got a gearbox in stock out of an 18 reg van with really really low miles that's had a hard smack in the back so i've actually purchased that gearbox and he said rob you've rung just at the right time the van the delivery company is going to be here in an hour so we can actually get this out to you today and you can receive it very very soon like i said it's friday so hopefully well it should arrive here chris monday stroke tuesday shouldn't it the other thing what i, I do keep putting this out to chris and he's like yeah, you don't really need to though, mate. But, and I've just said, I'm gonna do it today and just to see what you guys think. A lot of you always say about the price of the vehicles. Before I get sidetracked as well, I must tell you about the V5. The price of the vehicles, you're way too cheap. And we, I guess we don't ever say it. Guys, we sell our cars as is, where is, Sold on a trade sale basis, Chris, right? Yeah. What, what, what would you add to that? Uh, below trade we, we sell normally. them. Yeah, we sell them below trade price normally, and I used to trade all of my vehicles out to other traders, and it's since YouTube, you guys do ask for them. So that is why we kind of sell them cheap, but I am going to... We don't offer dealer facilities. No, we don't offer no dealer finance, facilities, no like finance, that. no warranties, no frills at all. They are sold purely under trade on a trade sale basis. So what I am going to do is just ask you guys, how much do you think it's worth, that van, all done? New clutch, new gearbox, ready to go. Drop it in the comments section down below. and Maybe that might reflect when I do the numbers in the end. So just quickly about the V5 before I forget. That van has had one owner from new, 
and I met the owner today and he's a follower of the channel and he said to me Rob I've got three logbooks here for this van only one of them's current obviously the other two are previous ones and guys would you believe every time he changed his address they actually added a new owner to the van Chris what what did you say you thought might have happened there I think probably when he's changed his address he's uh, ticked the wrong box what like maybe new so keeper new or something like yeah. that it's certainly the first time I've ever seen it. Have you seen it before where that's no, happened? No. It's very, very, very unusual. I should think probably where he's done an address change, it's probably a robot that does that side of it. And the robots just keep adding a new owner. I don't know, guys, but we don't care if it's have one owner or six owners. It's going to be the same price when we do the numbers and come sell it at the end. Guys, like I said, I started this video this morning. It's Friday. So I hope each and every one of you have a lovely weekend. Don't forget, share on all your social networking sites. Follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuild for the sneak peeks. Have a lovely weekend, and we'll see you Monday in the next one.